figured I should show how to make my spider safe building so you can actually see how it's built. But before that, what you really need to know is that if you press Control set X, you will automatically align with the set X plane. If you press Control set W, then it'll align with the set W plane. And if you press Control X W, it'll align with the X W plane. Uh, and lastly, if you press Shift E, then you'll strafe through the plane that you're well, in the direction that you're currently not in the plane of. If you look at the W in the bottom right corner there, and there is currently a bug where you can't strafe through zero zero or basically any chunk border. So I am using a walkthrough wall hack, <laughs> a really simple one, uh, to make it easier to build. And that, that's basically it. So I'll just speed up the footage here. For the first layer, you just want to make uh, this form. You want the door to be in the middle and you want it to be five wide on the inside. And then for every single layer, what you want to do is go two up and then make the door too high and everything else should be uh, one higher so you can have some jumping space. And then it'll look, end up looking like this. Now to do the next part, you need to make a decision if you want the plus side or the right side to start on. Uh, the, right or, or the plus or minus side to start on the right or left side. So uh, next strafe until you're at W 1.5, uh -huh, like this, and then you press set X just to make sure that you're exactly aligned and go to zero zero. Now it's a bit difficult to tell where zero zero is. So what you can do if you have a chest there is just look with your glasses and then you'll instantly know. So what I like to do is make the floor a different color, so that if I'm in a different dimension like this XW, I can always see where I have to go to be at zero zero. Oh, to be honest, it's in there. And another way to just easily find out where the center is, is going on one of the planes and then just building outwards. So. And if I go back to the set X plane, And you can either have it on the right side or left side, but it needs to be consistent. So if you choose that the uh, positive dimension, W1.5, is right side, then the negative needs to be on the left side. And so on. So let's fill this. And that ends up looking like this. And now to continue, you just do the same. Go to 2.5, press FX, and then just build. This time you want the door to be left of the center. So to recap, the first door was in the center. The second door was two to the right of the center. And the next door is going to be one to the left of the center. And if you instead decide to have the second door be two to the left of the center, this one needs to be one to the right of the center. And 
ends up looking like this. Now for the last layer, uh, the last layer is going to be a bit more special. We can ignore it for now, and then it'll automatically work once we... It should be pretty much filled out once we are finished with the rest of the building. So now that we've done all the positives, we're going to go to the negatives. And we just fill it in. So here, instead of having the first door to be on the right side, and the first one to be on the port to the left side. Like this. The last one on. So, same view as here, it's the opposite of what was on 2.5. So, it's gonna be right off the middle. If we go back to the set X, no, the set W plane, we can see that part of it has already been filled out. And if we go and face through a bit on the, the x axis, x axis, you can kind of see the doors uh, existing. So this is the bit kind of weird part. You'll end up with this is the end wall basically, and you'll end up with like a weird pattern here. It should fill itself in automatically, but basically all you can do, you can go in here, press ZX, and then you're automatically the top step. Anyways, if we go back to the center, there we go, this is the first one. So now that we've done it for everything on the set X axis, mm. we can take a step into the set W axis. And as we saw, it's already partially filled out. All we gotta do is do the exact same. So for this one, we need to fill all the doors to the center, because we're in the center of the... Where are we? We're on x equals 0 0.5, which means we're in the center of the set W house. <laughs> and then we just fill it up like this. In set axis, and then we just do the exact same thing where we shift to x equals 1.5 this time and press set w to align with it. And just as you can see here, it's already started filling out of it, having the door on the right side, so we just continue this pattern. Now, it's important that if you start on the right side when doing the W positive, then you also have to start on the right side when doing the X positive. I'll just fill out everything. Now when all we have to left is to check the XW axis. Oh. XW axis. And as you can see, the first one, the house is already filled out. All that's missing is the corners.
as you can see now, if we just straight through the whole thing, right? it all checks out. Oh, got high inside here. <laughs> and the spiders. So we're running there, uh, but we can straight through just to see. Other way of changing dimension with the scroll wheel to see that there's not any open spaces. how to build a house. Uh, if you want a super flat world, just check the 4D Miner Discord. There's a 7 zip file there, a zip file, etc. And uh, yeah, just make sure to check it out, I guess. Bye bye! Yeah.